So as promised, here is a video about modifiers, explaining them separately. Now in this one, we'll just talk about anchors. There will be separate videos for separate modifiers, explaining each of them carefully. Now, as you can see, I'm already in my Fusion page. To get started with, let me enable my inspector and also my notes. Now here is my note graph, and you know I don't use this default workspace so i'm going to change it by going to workspace and in layout presets fusion presets i'll choose midflow now I'll just enable my second viewer and this is where we live if you haven't watched our previous video about modifiers go and check it out right now that will help you understand why and what are modifiers and from there on you can watch all of these videos now to explain nm curves what i'll do is i'll use text so for that i have my default toolbar right over here if you don't have it right click and choose default and it will be checked and you'll have the same toolbar as i have now i'll just take the text over here just like that or what you can do is to bring a node click on the node graph head shift the space bar and you can type ext and you'll have your text now in this text i can write anything for example i'll write like and share this video fusion studios is the best okay something random and just like this and if i were to view it you can see it has written all this over here now what i'll do is i'll just put it over here yeah now i want an effect in which i want the right on effect to be affected with nm curves okay now what is nm curves first of all this is a modifier which helps in dynamically adjusting the timing values and acceleration of an animation even if you change duration of a comp yes it has to do everything with the timing and the animations so if i go to this transform and right click on the center and change and click on modify width and you can see we don't have the nm curves modifier over here well why is that because in center x and y value you can't use it works only on slider based value angle size or aspect if i right click on to size and go to modify width here you can see i have an anchor so if i click on it boom something happened well what is this first of all you can see the size has been increased to five and because we are on the last frame that's why there's a key frame on this five and if i came back to first frame the size is zero well this explains what an curve does it basically takes a parameter and takes its lowest value and the highest value and put it on the first frame and the last frame so lowest value will be on the first frame and the highest value will be on the last frame now you can change all that but this is how basically anim curves work now if i were to take an ellipse again just like before we did in the last video and take the output and put it into the transform input just like this and view this transform now you can see nothing is here but if i play well size of this ellipse is increasing and also i'll come here and change the width height to 0.25 and 0.25 so that it's a little bit easier for you to understand see so the size is increasing as the time passes by why because of nm curves now if i go to modifiers you can see we have nm curves over right here so what this modifier does is basically this modifier helps in dynamically adjusting the timing values and acceleration of an animation even if you change the duration of a comp this is the usp of this modifier even if you change the duration of a comp it will still affect it in a manner which you have set it to using this you can easily create stretch squeeze squish and smooth motion animations now let's talk about the each parameter and its setting and what it does the curve shape control determines the acceleration or shape of animation curve you can even see this in spline so if you click on the spline and boom you have something over here now because i have shown only selected tool check that's why it's just showing me transform because it is only selected now if i check this and head fit to view you can see there are some splines all right now i'll remove lookup and just select size and curves one this is the modifier which you have over here now source type if this is set to transition then that means if edit space duration is changed it will also automatically adjust now what does that mean if i come to edit page and right now because we don't have media out selected so let me just put a media out quickly just like that and attach this transform into the media out and now if we come back to edit page and here because the clip's duration is five seconds so from zero till it hits five it will affect it now the crazy part is if i reduce the duration of it to something like maybe two seconds let me play now you'll think that it will cut the part right because it does boom it doesn't affect it this is the usp of anim curves you change the duration it doesn't matter it will adjust according to the time okay that's why we use anim curves and by the way the captions which you are seeing right now the right on effect and the white line outline effect which it has has also been done using anim curves you see it's that simple now let me come back to the modifiers panel and source if the source is set to duration then if clip gets trimmed in the edit page it will adjust itself in both the clips now what does that mean let me just change it to duration and come back to the edit page and make its duration to something like 5 
again okay and let me just cut it from here now what will happen let's see okay so this has adjusted itself and from here this has also adjusted itself so basically it has been divided into two parts and an increase is applied to both and they both have the same values if i just click over here and do something like this now let's see what happens this is taking more time and this is very fast. See, it's all done using NM curves. Let me come back to the fusion page. And the last source type which we have is custom. If this is a two custom, then you can manually set the input value over right here. Yeah, that's it. I'll do undo by hitting Ctrl Z and change it to duration. Now, the next thing is curve. Now, curve lets you choose interpolation mode. You can see this in spline. If I again enable this size NM curves and fit to view and make it five seconds again. By the way, I'm using a hotkey here which is control T. Now here you can see there is a spline graph which is right now linear, okay? Now that is depicting the curve of it. If I change it from linear to easing, now you have the option of changing the curve in and out values. So right now there's a two none, but if I change it to, for example, cubic and out also the cubic, you have this smooth animation, which I use a lot. Now it will also affect the animation of it. So if I were to play, so it will make it something like this. And you know, if I change it to sign, maybe not to cubic, but to circle, yeah, just like that. Now if I'll play, so you will see something like this will happen. And you know, there are a lot of in and out curve modes. You can, you should go and check all of these out by yourself. Now you see, we have something like this, in elastic, we have bounce, all right, or so something like this, it will bounce. You know, there are many, many of, there are many interpolation modes which you can check. So please give it a try, okay, now. We are done with curve in and out. And lastly, we have custom. Again, custom is like spline editor. So you can just select all, hit F, and you know, do all these things and it will affect it basically. If I change it from here to here, now you see the animation will be affected. It is basically like, you know, mini spline editor, you can say. Zip. So yeah, something like that. You can even change the values from here too. Now I'll come back to transform modifiers and change it to linear. And now what I'll do is, I need this, wait, why is, it, why is it going? Now the next setting is mirror. Mirror will reverse it, you see, just like that. Actually mirror adds a reverse. So if we uncheck this mirror, right now it just comes like this and just goes and goes and goes, you know, it's linear. But if I add a mirror from half of the duration, it will reverse it. So it will be like this, it goes and comes back, you know, just like that. And if I change it to easing and let me do cubic and same here, cubic. Now it might be a little bit easier for you to understand what's happening. It goes and then comes back just like that. And again, the source and curve setting will be source setting will be affecting it. So again, if I just come over here, you know, cut it from here, then curves will adjust itself to match the duration of the clip. So you can even create some pool transitions too using NM curves, by the way. You just need to just drag it from the media pool and dropping it over here. And you know, you can adjust however long you want the clip to be. You see, just like that. Now I'll undo it and let's come back to the Fusion page. Now, sometimes this bug happens if you, you know, change your pages, edit to Fusion, Fusion to edit. So to refresh it, what you can do is just uncheck it and then again check it and then select your node and boom, it has been gone. So these type of bugs usually happen in the Resolve uh, if you're using it, so be careful. It hasn't messed with your animation, it's just a bug visually. Okay, so it's a visual bug. And now if I come back to modifiers, the next setting which we'll talk about is invert. Now invert will obviously invert it. Okay, and all the values will be inverted. It will be reversed basically, you can say. Yeah, so just like that, I don't check the mirror. So it will be like this. So yeah, again, it's anim is really cool guys. I use this a lot. And I already told you that the captions you are seeing has been animated using anim only. So you see, how effective they are. The next panel is the scaling panel. And here you have four settings, scale, offset, clip low, and clip high. Let's talk about each of them. Scaling modifies the animation value. The scale is the number multiplied to the value of the keyframe. Now, what does that mean? For example, if I just uncheck mirror and invert, and let's just keep it as it is. Everything is just normal. If I reset everything, basically, so it just comes from here, 
and goes over here now it is not animating like it did before i reset it what happened over here now what happened is the size value changed earlier when we were on the last frame the size value was on five and now it's on one why is that because the scale value is now one if i increase it to five again now you can see the size value is five so what it is doing basically once you enable any increase you can't change the slider okay you have to come to this modifier and change the scale value now whatever the scale value will be it will affect that number it will multiply it basically now if i change it to 10 you can see the size also change itself to 10 so for now let's change it to 2 now the last frame will be 2 so you know it's just like that the next setting which we have is offset offset will offset it for few values now how do i explain it guys it's it's just that that's why i added this line it's a little bit easier for you to understand on spline now let me just do zoom to fit just like that and and you also see when we reduce the scale value this line curves has also been reduced i'll change back again to two and now let's see what offset does so just focus on the spline editor and i'll change the offset value offset is offsetting the scale values so if i offset it to something like 2 now if i come back to tools and see the size it has been increased the last keyframe here it was 2 earlier the scale is 2 but now offset is also multiplying itself or maybe adding itself i'm not quite sure let's see yeah it's adding itself okay to the scale value that's it if you offset it you can come here and do that now clip low and high ensure output value is zero and one then we have the timing panel timing stretches or squishes the animation basically what does that mean it is same as scale but just a timing will be affected okay earlier we were just affecting the scale we were not affecting the timing of the scale but here we can affect the time of that scale now let me explain so again coming back to spline because it's the best for animations now if i change the time scale for example so right now it's one if i change it to two you see something happened well what's happened here is the time period which the anim curves was taking to complete that slider animation was from the first keyframe of the clip to the last keyframe but now since i set it to two what has happened is it has reduced the scale of the time okay so it's basically it will end on half of the duration of the clip this clip is 300 frames it will be done in 150 frame just because we change the time scale value over here okay if i change it to four it will be done in the quarter time value of it so now it will be done in just 75 frames and that's it and if i change the time offset now it is just offsetting the time values okay so yeah just like that if you want to play with time there is timing panel for you if you want to play with the scale itself there is scaling panel for you if you want to play with the animation you have curve and source all right i hope this clarifies you a lot of things on anim curves and it make you understand modifiers a little bit better and i hope that i added some value to you guys now that's it for anim curves but just to show you an example how i use it in real life okay now let's come back to our text effect and see what we can do to make it crazy okay now i have this text one over go here and what i'll do is i will i have something in mind the effect which you see on captions okay the write-on effect i'll do the same thing over here i'll right click onto this write on and choose anim curves and now if i'll play the write on value slider is going from 0 to 1 according to the length of the clip all right on the modifiers panel you have again the same settings which is of animation curves modifier the source you know all the things which i just explained transition if you were to change it let me just connect the output of it to the media out and if i go back to the red page you can see the right on will be zero onto the first frame of this clip and one onto the last frame of this clip but that's what i don't want okay what i want is it the right on should be one over here okay so basically the 80 percent of the clip whenever the 80 percent of the part is covered it should be one so what i'll do is i'll come to this text enable this spline or to fit to view or to modifiers and here i have this time scale value which i can play with which i was telling you about earlier and maybe somewhat like 1.2 should work so 1.2 basically means that it's 20 percent ahead it will end it on 80 percent and the rest 20 percent it will be as it is so basically just like that the math is something like this if i am wrong so please don't judge me forgive me i'm not good at maths but yeah if i play again and now it is completed and over here if i reduce the size of it the clip 
it will match it according to the size or timing of it and you can just you know create some cool stuff and put anim colors on top of it and just on top of it again another modifiers which i'll explain in other videos and you know you can just create very very cool effect now this is very basic and very simple so if you want it you know there is a file in the description just go and get it you can get it for free yeah totally free because it's very basic as a template yeah you can use it in your videos too now one more thing when i came back from it page fusion you can see this line stuff has come over here okay this this is just a visual bird. What does a visual bird means is basically it is just here visually. It has not affected our spline. If I play it, it's still smooth and still all the things are as it is. There are many visual bugs in Fusion which you will face. Okay, so for that, what you do is just double click anywhere, click on the text again, and click on this right dot tag and again or whatever your you know tool you want to see on spline and boom it's corrected so there are many visual bugs and not just visual bugs many bugs which i'll explain to you in the upcoming videos so you know you have to learn about those and be prepared for the challenges which you're gonna face by learning fusion and also what i'm thinking is i want to ease it this curve from linear to something like maybe cubic there's nothing like in cubic here i guess you can even change it to bounds you don't know what will happen <laughs> nice okay let me just keep it as it is one more thing you can do is you can even come over here onto this right on curve or the modifiers and choose mirror so this way you will have something like this and one more thing you can come to now uh curve choose easing and on the out value you can choose cubic and now it will be like this okay it just comes like this stays and just goes away very simple and very basic now what i will do is i'll go to tools panel over here and you know there are many settings which you can play with and you can just keep adding the anim curves on top of it and this is just anim curves tip okay you can do a lot with anim curves itself and not just anim curves once you know all the modifiers like for example calculation which we used in the previous video again if you haven't watched it go watch it right now which we did on modifiers and guys that's it for animation curves now animation curves you want to call it anim curves both are the same things okay doesn't matter anim is there yeah and it affects the curves now if i were to recap anim curves does what it basically changes the animation timing and spline the curve shape will be changed the scaling of it will be changed and the timing that is it again the spline shape the spline scale and the spline time and the best part is it adjusts itself if you change the duration in the edit page it's very useful for me because again the captions which you are seeing are animated just like this and it fills me because sometimes my pitch is really slow just like this and sometimes i'm very fast just like this so that's why you know i need to do some changes onto the fusion composition or text itself okay the duration basically of it and it gives like helps me a lot over there and yeah it's not just limited to text you can add it to any slider value or any zero to one value okay just not on center value because that is point value it doesn't work on point value that's it for him girls guys if you like this video then you know what to do like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't and press the notification bell if you want to see more upcoming videos i know you like this one so please do that right now and please join the discord the link of the server is in the description below go join it right now beautiful people beautiful community just like you like-minded people i say this in every video every time and i'll keep saying this because they will help you in your journey and you can help them in their journey okay keep growing together that's the motto and if you want some files you can click on the link provided in description again there will be gumroad link so go on the store and yeah you can purchase some stuff if you like good way to help this content coming also if you are facing any kind of problem or you know any kind of query with fusion editing motion graphics you can book a call right now the link is in description all the links are in the description below that's it for this one see you in the next one peace out